this is the 50th anniversary of hip hop and we still have a lot of discrepancies as far as the origins of hip hop, a lot of claims, who did what, who was the first this, who was the this and that and such and such. But at the end of the day, we need a definitive story, all right? And that story can only be told by the founders of this culture. Like everything was being driven and influenced by young, black, American culture. Like the slang, the style of dress, the initial uh, music that we chose. You look at uh, all the boroughs, you got, you know, money making Manhattan and money earning Mount Vernon and Crooklyn. The Bronx was the boogie down Bronx. We was partying up there. I am Coke LaRock, the first MC of hip hop. First cat to pick the mic up. I introduced rapping to the turntable because when I came with it, nobody in the world was doing it. I'm right after Rudy Ray Moore. They want to come in the mix, they want to say, I was, we started. No, no you didn't. No you didn't. No you didn't. What can't be known as hip hop was solely an African American creation. What would you get out of some Jamaican toast? What is that? I've never heard of a rapper use a Jamaican toast or a Jamaican flu as a rhyme. I've never heard of it, and I don't know where that myth came from. My name is Legendary Kane Trixie from the Bronx, BX from the West Side. I am the first break dancer. And that narrative that hip hop has had three founding fathers that's been rolling for the last almost 30 years, which isn't true. You don't have just three people who created hip hop. Hip hop was created by a number of different people. I am the grandfather, the godfather of the graffiti culture. I am the first element of hip hop. The roots of hip hop being Jamaican, absolutely false. My name is MC Shah Rock. I am a founding member of the MC slash rap culture. Cassette tapes was the internet of our time. It just traveled around by hand. Well, I know for a fact that the B-Boy stand started from the gods, the five percenters that would be at the jams back in the days who were acting as security. If they get the real truth of how it all was created, then so many lives would not be able to be in existence. Boom.